Some stories can be easily represented in 2-3 hours visually while some stories are too profound and wide that it won't even fit in 3 hours. In a TV series, the character arc and the story development needs to be so smooth and gradual that it would crowd a normal time limit for a film. So, they divided it into episodes. When episodes weren't enough, they made seasons, which is basically a group of similar episodes. The quality of a TV series is directly proportional to its relevancy and effectiveness on the public. So let's begin a journey to find out 9 TV series that everyone must watch before they die. We'll start with the writing crop. Mr Bean it might come as a shock but great thing about this show is its soothing and uninvolved nature this physical comedy show don't ask us for extra attention to the details but grabs our attention on the surface level you don't have to worry about the previous parts talking about the unimportant previous episodes it reminds me of a japanese anime shinchan great thing about this show is the comfort you don't have an urge to be critical like judging acting story and paying attention to details and complexities like recap it has a plot in every episode but we don't necessarily need to know the previous episode because there is a new story in each and every simply you have to lie on your back with complete leisure and experience this smooth flowing show without any philosophical meanings or dark comedy come on Audience is tired of dark humor and unrealistic comedy. They need something that is real and bright, and that's what this show is about: easiness and comfort. You come from hard day work, and then you listen to this. Stress kills itself. Shinchan is a five years old kid who often behaves strangely, just like any other five years old kid. and elder people like his mother always lecture him like any other mature person now what's more grounded and plain than that seventh the simpsons even the question what kind of show is the simpsons is hard to answer without sounding reductive because it has kept morphing throughout its run it began as a laugh track free sitcom but within a few seasons it had become more extreme It is the family dynamic and the incredible amount of different stories that sets the Simpsons apart from any other show on TV. 6th Sherlock Holmes. Either you adore this show or you don't understand it. The visuals of this show are like filming a thought. It's that precise. Hence, it is famously regarded as the most complicated and informative television series because obviously It's about the most complicated human, Sherlock Holmes, a high functioning sociopath. High functioning sociopath. With your number. Fifth, Rick and Morty. With 95% on Rotten Tomatoes and 9.3 on tv.com, Rick and Morty is a mind-bending animated science fiction with an out of the box concept. Even though it's a cartoon, yet it is more a show for adults who can register its subtext or simply ambiguity. It is about a whimsical scientist named Drake and his vulnerable grandson Morty which basically occupies the title Rick and Morty. This show does more than just a gag. People even claim it as exploring skepticism and nihilism in the society but more in an adventurous and amusing manner which makes us laugh as well as think. Fourth, Friends or Seinfeld. There has been an argument going on since last two decades. Seinfeld or Friends, which one's a better sitcom? Citing one of them would be ignorance, not because they have different genres, but because it doesn't make much of a difference watching either of them. Both are nearly same plot-wise. Both revolve around 90s lifestyle and a group of friends with ups and downs in social lives. The better way to differentiate them is to say that Friends is about what we want to be while Seinfeld is about what we are. Third, Game of Thrones. You might judge me, 
but really one of the reasons to watch this show is because almost everyone has watched it and except that it is an epic show the season finale of the 8th and last season of game of thrones become the most watched episode on hbo ever with 13.6 million live viewers second the sopranos widely regarded as one of the best tv shows to ever grace screens the sopranos launched into our lives on 10 january 1999 running for a total of 6 seasons until concluding in 2007 after 86 episodes many also agreed that tony soprano is the greatest character in television history first breaking bad Talking about relevance people will claim that Breaking Bad is completely relevant because of course not many of us cook math or drugs for money but i would arguably say that Breaking Bad is actually popular due to its relevance to our daily simple lives because that's what great movies and series does right depicting us how a normal person among us would react in some unexpected situations like this a ground to earth chemistry teacher finds out that he is suffering from terminal lung cancer and not many days are left in his life so how does he react just like any other father who would look out for his family's financial stability before he goes off yeah the path he chose to cope with that isn't preferable at all but the way he behaved is completely relevant his journey from a professor to a drug lord is extremely grounded and natural without a slight exaggeration most of all it is humanly yet extraordinary so that's all for today guys if you agree with me then please subscribe to my channel and share this video among your friends and family and if not then please comment down below your own list of best tv series of all time